Hey everyone, here's my review for Lego Prince of Persia Quest Against Time. I'm sure you've seen my video of the set being built. It took me about 10 hours to do that. Of course I had breaks, you know, watch some TV on Hulu, ate, ate food, I had to do other stuff as well. Okay, so here's the set. Comes with four minifigs. There's Nazim or Nazan, the Dastan. There's Prince Tamina, and there's I believe Zom, the the assassin leader. Comes with two snakes. There's the Dagger of Time. The two katanas. Nazim has front printing and back printing. And printing on the leg. Wait. And there's his face. And the dagger time looks pretty awesome. And this that's time if you buy all five sets you should have four copies of this. And there's Princess Tamna. Here's the assassin leader. Comes with a cape. And here's the set. There, this is comes with traps. Uh, I don't know if something's wrong with the sword or that holder is loose, but keeps on the sword keeps on falling out. And there's the bazaar trap. Let's see that again. And over here, it's, I guess it's supposed to grind someone up. Can't really see. Many fakes can't really fit under there, but I guess the idea is someone who can't jump over it would get destroyed underneath. Comes with two lion's heads, one at each side. Comes in the new color, and these are new mini archers, I guess. Comes with two brown spears on that side, and also one over there. Like if someone falls off, bam, they get skewered by a spear, or it's from this trap. Wait, let me see. Bam. The person is supposed to fall in the spear, I guess. Oops. Comes with a skeleton, I guess one of the prior victims to this tra spear trap. And at the back of the entrance, there's a scythe. But it doesn't, doesn't seem like a dangerous trap since all you have to do is walk to the right. Maybe it's supposed to be longer. Let's try pulling it out though. And still doesn't do make much of a difference. Okay. There's a torch with a fire piece. And this is I guess the gimmick of the set, the light up part function. It was kind of bright outside right now so I guess it's not that noticeable but you're supposed to stick the dagger of time in there. I get it. You just stick it in and it lights it's supposed to light up. There you go. Or you could just push that in the back, I think, or not. That doesn't... Well, I guess when you push the dagger, it'll push that piece against that pot. And there's a nice rock structure surrounding this uh, light up area. I guess it's supposed to be the sands of time or something. Uh, I don't know. 
Not sure why there's a little piece. I guess when we watch the movie, we'll find out what's so special about this rock. Okay, so there's a nice long pause there without me saying anything. Well, it comes with two of these nice golden arches. And lots of pieces, slopes, tons of slopes. If you want to make like for making cliffs, rocks, and it comes with, I believe, two of these pieces. Long, long, ugly rock piece. A lot of fans nicknamed that. So overall, there's a whole bunch of weapons from the traps and the minifigs, like the swords and the spears. And the dagger. This the assassin leader comes with snakes. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be a weapon. And as seen in the box, you know, you're supposed to have the stand jump on these pieces, you know. So I guess jump over the obstacle and then jump, jump, and then kill whoever is here. Grab this dagger and stick it in and unlock the secrets of the whatever it is <clears throat> so this set is uh, I believe around fifty dollars comes with five hundred six pieces per I guess it's okay I, I was hesitant to buy it at first but I figured if I'm buying Four of the five Prince of Persia sets, I might as well get the fifth one, right? So I get an extra Nazim, get an extra Princess Tamina, get a, an extra Destan, and my my only copy of the Assassin Leader. And I guess that's it for now. Until next time, everyone. Okay, I just want to have a short add-on. Here's the light-up brick. On top is a 2x2 tile. And on the bottom is a 2x3 plate. Inside is the two batteries. And you push this to light it up. So it <coughs> takes uh, two of those small batteries. Not sure what they're called, but it, it came with this piece. And once you put put it in, you press the button and it doesn't light up. So I guess they put it in there so while the box uh, the piece is moving around in the box when you're on its way to your house it doesn't tr you drain all the batteries. Chances are I'll probably never replace the battery so I'll try to avoid using the light up function. Probably never because I'm not really a fan of you know gimmicky stuff. And plus, the money I could spend on the batteries, you know, could be spent on more Lego. Even though the batteries are probably quite cheap, you know, compared to a Lego set. I mean, here's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, I could probably get tons of these batteries. So, goodbye for real this time. <laughs>